Hi, today I'll be talking about copying lists with a random printer. The question says, a linked list is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer. So we see on the left here, we have a linked list and that some linked lists have an additional random pointer that can go anywhere. So in the case of the third node here or the third index node, it goes to the null and this one here goes to the last one. The second one goes to the fourth one. So this is the random pointer connection that it's referring to. Our task is to return a deep copy of this list. Now there are several ways to do this. The way that I prefer has a time complexity of ON since we have to iterate through each list node in order to be able to copy it and a space complexity of 01. So it doesn't require creating any additional spaces in order to perform this copy. So the first thing we will do is we're going to create a copy of each linked node as we go through it. So the way this is done is we will come on to this first link node here, create an exact copy of it, shift everything a little bit this way. Um, so let's say that this was one, this would be one. And we'll put it right here. And we'll connect that. If this was two, then again, let's just move these, shift these a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do this. And have it right here. The arrows got messed up a little bit there, but that's okay. So it will look something like this. and so on and so forth. So we will start by creating a copy of each one. Perhaps I'm gonna reduce the amount of random links here, but you did get the point um, for the sake of explanation. Let's say for this case, we just have a one random pointer. That's sufficient to demonstrate our example. Okay, so the first thing we will do is we will uh, create something, a variable called nod, and we'll give it a head. So if we were to add text here, so our node will be here at the head. So let's iterate. So while node, so while this is actually has a value, it exists, it's not none. What I want you to do is copy the reference to something called next. So basically what you're doing here is you're creating another variable called next. Well, in this case, in the first iteration, these actually don't exist. So that was just for explanation purposes. What you're saying here is that this next should have this connection here saved. So that's what you're saying by not.next. So not.next in our case is two. So you're saying, hey, create a variable called next and save it as two or save this arrow here, this reference to next. So that's what you're doing here. And then basically you're creating a node. In this case, you just call it copy and you're calling the node here and it takes these uh, variables. So it takes the int. So in our case, it's just the node.val. So the current node.val. Um, and the next will be node.next. Excuse me. Um, and the random will be the node.random. Now, we, what we've done, we have basically created a copy of this here by running down this line. Next, we will say that the dot not next should equal to copy. So basically, what we're saying is hey, create this 
the node.next, which is this one, as you can see here, it's this one. The node.next should point to copy. And the copy.next should point to next. And the original next, which was this one, was pointing to this one here. So basically what you're doing is saying the copy.next to point to next. So this is what these um, four lines do. Next, you will shift node to next. So again, node was originally here. Now your node comes right here. And now you just while node. So basically, you you repeat this and you create a copy for um, each node. So it will eventually look like this. So the end result will look like something like this, a copy of each one. Uh, I just reduced the amount here just so it's easy to, to see. Now, the next step is to actually get a copy of the random. So by the time we've done iterating here, this will be towards the end. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to reset our node to our head. So let's move this away. We won't be using it. And then the node comes back here. And then you will iterate by saying while node so again while there is a value check if it has random which is right here so it's checking hey do you have a random no do you have a random no do you have a random no but we have to be very careful we don't want to iterate over the copied ones so we actually once you check the first node before going back to the next node we want to skip two nodes so by doing not dot next dot next, it's going to go dot next dot next. So it's going to jump to number two, jump to number three, jump to number four, since we don't want to copy these. So if it happens that this not dot random, which we can see in this case, yes, there is one pointing backwards. We want the next one, number four, to also be pointing to number one. So this is the action that we want to perform. So we do that by saying node.next.random so we're here right now so the dot not next which is this one dot random so it's random pointer should be pointing at the node.random.next right so my node.random is right here and dot next is that so you basically now have created a connection between these copies and now the last step is to split them out. So you want to take the one, the two, the three, and the four out of here and create and let and let them be their own individual list. So you start a new one by saying create a dummy. And we're just gonna give it node zero. Sorry, node zero. And I'm going to illustrate this and we can give the previous equal dummy and the node equal head. So essentially what we're doing is we've created a dummy, right? Or to best actually illustrate this. Oops. We created a dummy here with zero and we'll, uh, created the pointer we call that proof okay and we have reset the node back to the head so it's still here because in the previous while loop it has jumped all the way to the end to make a random copy so we simply just keep it here okay um, and now let's start taking out these so we do that again by saying while node so while this well there is a node the I want the priv dot next which is this one right here to point to the node dot next so in our case the dot not next is number one so basically it would look um, something like this Okay, we're going to fix the lines now. So this line of code does this, basically. 
the priv.next, which is our case is this, is pointing to the node.next, which was right here. And we're saying that the node.next, which is this one, should point to the node.next.next, which is number two, since this guy here was pointing originally this way. So we're going to say, hey, this is going to be your new connection. And you want to shift this node to here. And you simply do that by saying node equal node.next. And you want to shift this priv here by simply saying priv.next. So this priv comes here. And you repeat this process again if we go let's do one more so the priv.next which is the one right here equals the not not next so the not not next is this one so we delete this and this comes right here and we bring this here so it's more logical to look at and then the not dot next will be even the connections are still here will be the not dot next dot next so this goes away that was perhaps a bit one more, but let's just do it. So this will look like this. OK, and the nod will be shifted here and the priv will be shifted here. So at the end, this will look like something like this, which is an exact deep copy of this. And then you would want to return the dummy dot next so this is the dummy dot next so you're basically will be returning this here which is an exact copy or is a deep copy of this thank you for watching